What is going on everyone? I wanted to do a quick video here because I find myself at the Charlotte airport on 9-11. Uh, many of you guys may know this, but I actually worked at this airport on 9-11 when it happened. And there was a ton of different things that happened that I think history has largely forgotten about on that day. Um, obviously the events itself are totally separate from what I'm saying. I'm just trying to share my experience um, from somebody who worked here uh, during the event. So um, obviously the buildings were hit, things like that, roughly around nine o'clock. We really didn't know what was going on as employees uh, for a while. So uh, you can't see it from where I'm at right now. But so behind me, there used to be a Chili's at the time of 9-11. And back then, that was the only TV in the airport. And so it wasn't like it is now where there's TVs at every terminal and CNN is paying for them and all those things. So it took a while for both passengers as well as employees here. I worked for US Airways at the time, many of you guys know that. Um, but so, which was the biggest airline here by far. Um, so it took a long time for people to understand what was going on, like hours. And because this airport was on the coast, um, a lot of international flights got sent here that weren't scheduled to be here and they got grounded. So flights going to Canada and Mexico full of people that didn't have visas uh, for America were grounded here and as employees, we had to figure out what to do with them. And uh, it was definitely an interesting experience. One day I plan on actually making like a full video when I have a long layover, but I have a short layover today. I actually have to head out here in just a second to jump on a plane. But um, again, there were people here for literally over a week who didn't have visas in America who lived in this airport and the employees and along with the Red Cross eventually, and then eventually even the National Guard had to come in to not only do security, but then also to do uh, I guess humanitarian assistance for people who are trapped in the airport. It was a really crazy experience. Um, there was a lot of people complaining on the day of 9-11 because again, they just didn't understand why their flights were canceled. And they were coming up to us, the employees, and just going berserk because they couldn't get on their flights. And we really, at least at first, couldn't tell them why. Uh, after about 11 or 11 o'clock or noon, obviously everyone kind of knew. Um, and down here where I'm at, this, this whole area here was full of people who were watching that one TV at Chili's um, because everyone was trying to understand what was happening at 9-11. And obviously cell phones and social media and all those things weren't the way they are today. Uh, and just information wasn't shared anywhere near as quickly as it was. Um, but a lot of things went really weird on that day. Again, I plan on doing a full video one day on this, but I figured since I'm here on 9-11, 23 years ago, I was here as well, but as an employee in a completely different role and on a day that none of us really knew what to do, uh, even those of us who are quote unquote in charge of the airport at the time, we didn't know what to do. It was a crazy time. So anyway, just wanted to share that little piece of history for all of you guys out there. So I'll be on my way now. Thanks for watching.